All right, Lisa, thank you. Now back to our coverage of the total solar eclipse, and the moment we've been waiting for is almost here. Yeah, just a few hours away now. The moon will completely cover the sun for more than two minutes, and CBS News Corps, uh, consultant, I should say, Bill Harwood, joins us now live from Carbondale, Illinois, to tell us what we can expect. And if you can please set the scene for us first, what's it like in Carbondale? <laughs> not, a, not a very big city, but I imagine there's a lot of people there right yeah. now, huh? <laughs> Well, you know, as you say, this is the area where it's the greatest duration of this eclipse, more than two minutes and 40 seconds. It's also got the distinction that when there's another solar eclipse in 2024, just seven years from now, that zone of totality is also going to pass over Carbondale. So the city is very excited to be the crossroads of the great American eclipse, as, you, as, as it were. Um, very exciting. They've got a stadium here at the local college that's going to be packed with people, vendors, you know, carnivals. It's a very festive atmosphere. Not crazily crowded like uh, some might have expected at this point, but it's uh, going to be a good turnout. I think the big issue for us is the weather. Uh, some clouds have come in, and of course, if it happens to be a cloud between us and the sun during those two minutes and 40 seconds, then we're not going to see it. But hopefully, there'll be a gap in those clouds and we'll get a look. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people might wake up this morning and say, hey, let's drive to Carbondale if they're close <laughs> enough. So, yeah. Uh, they might show up soon. <laughs> but hopefully no clouds, that's for sure. Of course, Bill, there's been lots of talk, once-in-a-lifetime events, so uh, incredible, people really looking forward to seeing this. But really, how rare is this? Is it just the fact that it's crossing from coast to coast that makes this so different from other eclipses we've seen um, back in, in the 70s? Right. You know, I think there's a couple of things going on here. You know, there's, a, there's two solar eclipses per year somewhere in the world. Uh, but the last one in the United States was 1979, and as you say, the last coast-to-coast -coast eclipse in the States was back in 1918. Uh, so from that perspective, from any given location, they are rare. And I think the, the factor that's making, I think, this one has such a, a, a vibe about it is it's in the social media age. You know, everybody can talk about it. There's apps for that, if you will. You know, I'm looking down at my iPod where I've got a, an app running that shows you kind of what the eclipse will look like in Miami. Hey, pretty cool. Obscured sun. I mean, that's a pretty good, yeah. You know so what it looks like. That's a pretty good view, but I want to warn everybody. <laughs> what's, uh, what's that? It looks like a banana. <laughs> My morning snack. <laughs> well. We're looking no, forward to it. That's a very bright sun. Even though, <laughs> even though it's very obscured in Miami, you still want to wear your solar glasses because it's bright enough to cause eye damage or damage your cameras. And with smartphones out there, everybody's going to be wanting to take a picture. Got to be careful doing that mm -hmm. because you'll damage the camera. And if you're looking directly at the sun through a viewfinder, you can certainly injure your eyes. You want to be careful. We've been telling everybody, got, got to get those protective glasses. Yeah. Hopefully it's to not too by. late. They are hard to find, <laughs> um, but I'm sure there's still That's some right. out there. So. All right, Bill, thanks so much for joining us this oh, morning. Yeah. We'll talk to you soon. And, of course, keep it right here for our extensive coverage of today's solar eclipse. CBS News will have a special report starting at 1 this afternoon. We'll also be streaming it live on our website, cbsmiami.com.